Hi, it's Miss Pam. Back to school means thinking about math. This is a book that won the 2020 honor of being a mathematical book. It's called, It's Too A Lot by Amy Watson. That is a real question her son asked her in the car one day. And then they go on an ordinary car ride through a land of make-believe. It's an adventure with numbers. Numbers can tell us exactly how many, but it depends on the context. Look at this book. It's new, it's charming. Come to the library and see how many books you can borrow. And this will tell you about numbers two, three, four, five, 10, 50, 100, and 1,000. Hi, Miss Robin here. I have another great book for you. This one's new. It's called Fred's Big Feelings, The Life and Legacy of Mr. Rogers. Do you guys know who Mr. Rogers is? I love him. This book was written by Laura Renald and illustrated by Bridget Barriger. And look how well she captured his kind face. Mr. Rogers did so many things to help us work through our feelings. And this book explains how he learned how to work through his own feelings so he could teach us. You should come check it out. Hi everybody, this is Miss Tracy from the James B. Brown Library. This is one of my most favorite books. It's by Audrey Penn and it is over 70 years old. It's called A Pocket Full of Kisses and it's just such a loving story. She also wrote the book, The Kissing Hand, which I would highly recommend. But what I want to do right now is I want to read you one page from this book. Mrs. Raccoon placed Chester on the ground and smiled at him with his soft, loving eyes he knew so well. I think someone needs a kissing hand. You're going to have to read the rest of the story to find out what the kissing hand is. Hi everyone, it's Miss Megan and I have a book to recommend for you. This is called Leapfrog and it was written by Jane Clark. I really enjoyed this book because of our cute little frog and his name is Felix. This is also a great book because it really encourages child participation because you get to tell Felix, hold on Felix, don't be scared as he makes his way through the jungle. And you get to also make a lot of fun noises like flip flop or splish splash. So if you wanna come check out this book and see how Felix makes his way through the jungle, come on down. Hi, Miss Nina and I have a book I'd like to recommend to you. This book is new to the library. It's called The Magical Yet. It is by Angela V. Terbuzzi. She's the author, she wrote the words. And the pictures, the illustrations are by Lorena Alvarez. And if you see, there's a little magical yet right on her forehead. This child has all the kinds of things that she's learning how to do. She gets frustrated that she can't do them. She doesn't want to give up. She keeps trying and trying. And the wonderful thing about the magical yet that we all live with one. We all have one inside us. It's called a growth mindset. When we get frustrated and we don't feel that we're good at something, but we want to keep learning and trying and getting better. And in this book, there are wonderful examples that so many children can identify with. Skateboarding, bike riding, painting, dancing, instrument playing, that they're all things that maybe we're not great at it yet, but we want to keep learning and growing. And just as that mindset stays, this child grows older in the book. So we want to support lifelong learning from we're little all the way till we're big. We hope you come and check it out. Thanks. 